in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. My friends, when you look inward to yourself, Get this, you do not find untapped potential within. When you dig deep, you do not find a reservoir of unused greatness. When you look inward, you do not see a supply of inactivated faith. No, dear friends, this is not how it works. This is not reality. In other words, contrary to what the foolish self-help books at Barnes & Noble say, and contrary to what sports athletes mumble to reporters after games, and contrary to all the ridiculous songs in our culture, we simply do not have greatness within. We simply, indeed, do not have greatness within. You are just not that special within. You do not have an all-spark within. No Care Bear heart for you. That is the blunt and the hard truth. Frankly, what you are told in culture is exactly the opposite of how it is with you. You see, the deeper you look, the deeper you look within yourself, the more layers of darkness you will find. Sin upon sin. When you look inward, you do not find a spark of opportunity, some greatness that's untapped, but you find a dark, bottomless pit of your sinful nature. Friends, mark this. There is no bottom. There is no bottom to the sinful nature within you, and especially me. Your heart is hopelessly dark and deceitful. It's actually like a puzzle, if you will. No one can figure it out. But the world that you live in, well, it does not care. The world continues to proclaim to you, well, you are mighty and you are powerful. You are, get this, you are cosmically special. It is almost as if the world, deep down, knows the truth but does not care. It is as if the world insists on trying to convince itself and you that we have some silly spiritual power within our souls. Ah, my friends, but that is where things are different with you. It's where it's different with each and every one of you in this room. You are a Christian. You are Christians. And as a Christian, you are not so easily deceived. You know that your salvation comes from outside of you, not inside. And that is really good news. Remember your baptisms? In your baptisms, the Holy Spirit snatched you away from darkness. He snatched you away from looking inward. He turned your eyes inside out so that you do not depend on your own strength. That is right. Holy Spirit is all about turning you inside out. He does not want you to trust in your own experiences, your own works, and especially, yeah, especially your feelings. He wants you to depend on the one outside of you, Jesus the Christ. And so, baptized saints, Chins up, this morning, right here, right now. Chins up, stop looking inward. Enough navel-gazing, enough of your stumbling around with your feelings, enough with swimming around in your own thoughts in your head. Chins up, look outside of yourself. Behold, ah, such a good word, behold. Behold the Christ who takes away the sins of the world. And yes, those sins that he takes away, they're yours, they're mine. They're gone. They're atoned for. Baptized saints, never forget that you live outside of yourselves in the reality of Christ. And so when the devil stirs your feelings towards sinful delight within, well, no need to look within. Look outside yourself and behold Christ, Christ Jesus, the victor over all, the victor over evil. And when the world tempts you inward into the pits of darkness, look outside of yourself and behold, yes, behold, the Lamb of God who was lifted up and sacrificed for you. And when your sinful nature tries to make you collapse inward on your sinful appetites, look outside of yourselves and behold Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, your salvation. Remember again, your sin only yields 
more sin, sin upon sin. But Jesus, the Christ, the one outside of you, is the fountainhead of grace and life and truth. Grace upon grace for you. Dear baptized saints, chins up, listen up. You are not left to yourself, but have the unfathomable goodness and mercy of Jesus Christ, who intercedes for you and reconciles you to the Father. Christ is your Savior, who came for you and still comes for you this day from the outside. Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, your sins. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.